twenty June March two thousand and fourteen. Okay, this dog comes in for vomiting, right? Yes. For uh, one week. Yeah, one week. Uh, he has vomiting before. Uh, even prior to this yes. week, yes. Yes. Yeah, so he has been vomiting. We look at the case history. This dog has been vomiting before many times. Once in October two thousand and three, he was treated, and then he recovered. And one in December two thousand and three, treated and recovered. Now, this one the prescription diet called KD was given to the dog, but the dog did not want to eat it after some time. So now we look at the blood test result because blood test result is is use evidence based treatment. Now evidence based treatment means the evidence is the blood test. Now for for vomiting cases, many vets think that it is due to uh, stomach ache or uh, gastroenteritis, but actually vomiting is in old dogs ten years old. Sometimes it's due to kidney kidney failure. Now in this case, we have used. Uh, evidence-based treatment and from, from what you can see is in October the creatinine is 269 treatment already then the dog was on KD for some time then after that the dog does not want to eat so he came back with vomiting again so in December 2013 you can see the creatinine level has is still high but a bit high not too high compared to uh, earlier on two months earlier so there's some signs of uh, improvement in the kidney function. Unfortunately, the dog does not want to eat the prescription diet KD, which, which is meant for dogs with kidney failures. So now it comes back again, March 22, 2014 vomiting. So, so now, of course, vomiting does not mean it's kidney failure. So we need to take blood tests again because this is evidence-based treatment rather than just treat blindly. It might be liver, liver or even an infection, you see, mm -hmm. of the liver or kidneys or urinary tract infection or other reasons. But most likely it could be kidney, but there may be kidney and liver disorder. So we take a blood test and we'll give the same treatment again, the drips to flush out the toxins. And uh, based on the blood test result, that means the evidence from the blood test, then we will know what to do and what is the prognosis, whether this dog, uh, especially the red blood cells, you see, because in kidney failure, as you can see, this one, on the second time in uh, December, the red blood cells have dropped a bit compared to the earlier on. So the kidney, the kidney has a protein which uh, affects the red blood cell production. So if, if there's a kidney problem, then the red blood cells will drop. And sometimes it drops to very low. So we know that it's very serious. So now I will check the gums, as you can see. Now this gums is not so pale, but uh, it's not pink as well. Huh? Now this is a nice dog, you see it's quite pale. Huh? So from the blood test, you will know whether, whether uh, there's anemia or not. Now this one, Vomiting for one week, sometimes they are dehydrated. You can see it's quite dry, eh? and also it's quite. It's not uh, the capillary refill time. It's not very uh, fast. Normally it should be one second, but much depends on the on the blood test. So now you can see this dog has some. Is this some? Oh, there's a growth here. Hmm? Yeah, some. Mm, got discharge. This discharge is it common? Yeah, it's coming because of the environment. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sometimes when they're very sick, they have this uh, dry eyes also. Mm. But uh, other than that, the ears are okay. Our ears is no good. This is due to scratching for a long time. So you have black pigment. How about this ear? Same thing. Also black pigment. <coughs> uh, so you can see that this dog has painful ears as well and was not treated, you see. So besides this more more important kidney or liver causing one meeting, this dog has very bad uh, ear infection in the inside. Normally the otitis external we call it. So this has to be treated as well. So basically uh, there's no fever and uh, so we will take the blood and then uh, check what's what's happened and then give the drip. March 22, 2014, Silky Terrier cross, male. 
neutered 10 years, vomiting. The presenting sign is vomiting. Eh? And uh, don't confuse this with uh, thinking that it is a uh, gastroenteritis or gastritis in old dogs. Many times it's due to kidney uh, disorder. Okay, finish.